what happens next are you all getting in trust with the chapter even i am so what happens next is well you tell me any situation and with my magical spell i can change it completely the children looked at him in distrust they were unable to believe what he is saying so i see you don't believe me tell me what change you want to bring in one of your lives i will change the situation for just one of you now he is saying that you can trust me and tell me any situation which i can change but i'll be changing the life of only one person out of you now this might be a problem between the children because everybody wanted to change their own life the children thought for a while can we have some time to think about it please rohit asked softly take your time said the wizard and went back to his chanting namanamanam now these three they are going to think about what they wanted to change in their life i want him to change my life ajay said tomorrow is my mathematics exam and i am not prepared but i want to get good marks in it so please let him cast a spell on me no it's my birthday next week and i want a bicycle my mother doesn't want me to buy it so let him change my life pouted alicia so how would she have pouted so let him let him change my life next i want to go on a vacation to disneyland if you let that wizard cast a spell on me i'll take you all along too neha spoke excitedly there was one more friend of them he was rohit what a lot of selfish people we are think about the other people who need this spell i know of a person who needs this spell more than us now what would have happened next because they all were having this conversation among themselves the four friends held an impromptu debate now this debate was not planned but they had a debate gradually their voices mellowed their voices became soft and soon rohit walked determinedly towards the wizard we have decided that we want to use your magical powers on a person that we see daily while going to school he said now don't you think it's a good thing that all the children are leaving their own wishes and they finally reached on a decision where they are going to help a old man which they see daily when they go to school tell me who he is and what he looks like said the wizard as he closed his eyes and started chanting a spell there is an old man his clothes are dirty and torn he lives in a small hut on the other side of the road his house is always dark he appears sad and feeble feeble here means he doesn't have any physical strength he is rude to people who come and try to help him said rohit then neha continued we really want to help him but don't know how so we want you to use your magical powers on him now but the wizard must have thought about the children wizard tried to attract them to to some other things the wizard smiled at neha and looked at rest of the children are you sure that this is what you all want i can give you all new toys dresses get you good grades but children they were firm on their decision 
No, we want you to help that man, the children said in unison. Again, they all said it together. Even as they firmly closed their minds to the tantalizing possibility of what the wizard offered to them. Now, this was something which was quite, you know, quite a problem for them because they wanted their wishes also to be fulfilled. But here they choose that they were going to help this old man. Let's move further with our story. Okay, then said the wizard and chanted a spell. Carol Jamini. He uttered. The candles flickered and the table shook a little bit. After a few minutes, wizard said, Visit the man tomorrow and you will see that spell has worked. What happened next? Now the children had to go from there because they were already late for home. They tumbled. They were almost about to fall, but they were very excited. They liked their encounter with the house. Much to their parents' surprise, they finished their homework on time. They finished their dinner and they went on their bed. Next morning, they went to school. They reached the same road where the old man lived. Wonders of wonders! Instead of old man hut, they saw, they found a beautiful house with a young man standing outside. So what happened next ward? Now, they went to the house and knocked at the door. A young man opened the door. How can I help you? asked the man. We are looking for the old man who used to live here. Do you know where he has gone? asked the children. Now what would man have replied over there? The man replied that to my surprise, I everything is changed now. I am the one who is the old man. I had a rickety house. The one which was poorly built up and was about to clasp. I don't know how that happened. I thought I was dreaming. When I got up, I saw there was so much of food grounding uh, in my kitchen. I mean, there was abundance of food. I have a big house now. I'm young. I would always help the people. I don't know how this miracle has happened. And I'm going to help all the people who need shelter. It will be a place where people can come anytime and they can have stay with me. My house is bright now and I'm truly happy. And old man, this old man who has become young now, thanked God for this miracle. And he feels like that he has, begin, he has been given a second chance at life. Now the children were aware that David Sullivan, the wizard, have actually done this spell after their classes they attended their school that day they wanted to go back to the same shortcut and they wanted to meet the wizard but there was no sign of purple house when they went back from school to house they looked everywhere it looked like it was never existed house kabhi wahan pe tha hi nahi that's what they found where is Mr. David Sullivan? asked Ajay. And what happened to the house? Suddenly, when question suddenly they found an envelope with a note. They quickly read it. It said, Now the wizard says, This is the value of the story. Now, wizard says, Dear children, I want to tell you that I'm proud of you all. Because you didn't use my power in a wrong manner. You showed your compassion. And I am now, I am going now. But always remember, the feeling you get when you put others before yourself is far better than thinking about yourself all the time. So that means we should try to benefit others first who are less fortunate than us. Fortunate simply means in your language, you can say it's lucky. People who are less luckier than us or they need some or the other things, we should help them first. Go to that huge tree right in front of you and you will find a reward for your good deed. Now, this wizard actually gave the gifts to the children as well. That was the letter which students read from the wizard. 
look at the children now they are looking very happy isn't it they are getting they got lot of gifts they got lot of pile of gifts name was written on that they would spend many evening happy they were best friends and they were neighbors what they did was they spent they spent their evenings talking about their experience they spent a part of their time volunteering at large home of the old man where no needy person or even animal was turned away they was just taking that did the old man the one who became young jo old man young ho gaya tha kya wo ab logo ki madad kar raha hai because that's what that person said that i have got a second chance of life and i will be helping everybody jo bhi mere ghar pe aayega that means after this even that old man and these children they lived happily ever after so here i end my story i hope you understand the value which this story has created is you should try to benefit others who are less fortunate than us and you will surely be benefited one day i would like to recapitulate what we did in this chapter we studied about few new words few i have made sentences in this video few i want you to make sentences and then we read the chapter thoroughly which you can read once again with your concept book pages and just after this i want to discuss few of the questions related to this story and the questions here are can you look at these questions and try to solve them these are the questions directly from your book alija wanted to go inside the house no she was afraid the wizard's name was david sullivan yes the wizard stood in a bright and well lit room 